folks welcome back to another video if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button today's video i'm going to be showing you how i get this beautiful mess a good old trim it's been about three months since i gave myself a haircut and i think it's time for a trim so what i'm starting off by doing is sectioning my hair of course and the first method i'm going to be doing is the search and destroy so basically search and destroy is you're literally searching and destroying any bad strands that you see. So if it's a split end or a single strand knot, any of those that look like an unhealthy end, you're literally cutting it off. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a section um, and I'm going to divide that section into even more smaller sections. And then what I do is um, I kind of like to stretch it out just a little bit and just you know go through it and see what needs to be cut um i am going to do a trim in this video as well so i'm just you know searching and destroying for this part and i just kind of give it a good look you want to make sure you're against a plain background or a very light background i'm in front of the ring light so it's really easy for me to see what needs to be cut off and in certain areas you want to just kind of you know really analyze if it really needs to be cut or not only because i mean i did get myself a haircut so some areas just didn't even need to be cut that much because it was still pretty good but of course you know they're just put in here and there it's inevitable you can't really like never get them so after that i kind of comb through it um finger detangle through it and just i just do this just to see if i missed any certain strands and then i all take it together and then do the same thing so really this is kind of time consuming but I mean, if you have some time on your hands and you wanna treat your hair, go ahead and do this. This is like really easy. This is a good way of avoiding um, trimming your hair so often. If you just do this, like, you know, every other week or every two weeks, you, you should be fine and shouldn't have to trim your hair as much. Now for me, I really only trim my hair maybe twice a year. And usually it's when I straighten my hair. But for this sake, you know, I'm trying to get my curl pattern back. And so, you know, I'm just trimming what needs to be trimmed off. And yeah, so basically this is my first method of getting rid of any damaged ends. Once I'm done with each section, I just twist it up and continue to do that, to do that um, around my entire head. Now, the next version is, of course, actually dusting or trimming your hair. And I like to do this on um, freshly washed hair. And so I'm doing the same thing again. I am sectioning my hair off into four sections and then i'm going to use my favorite holy grail leave-in conditioner um, all the products that i use is going to be in the description box below but you guys know i love using the cream of nature um, leave-in conditioner it's very affordable it's literally like only four or five dollars and it lasts you a while so i'm going to saturate um, each section with this you want to make sure your hair is moisturized um, of course but after I do that, I'm taking medium sections within that quadrant and I'm going to be dusting or trimming my hair. Now, dusting is really basically trimming in my eyes. You're really not cutting off that much. Like you're literally about to see me cut off maybe less than a centimeter of hair. So doing this like maybe every two months is really going to be beneficial to your curl pattern because it's going to always make sure that you're cutting off any split ends or single strand knots which I get both of those a lot. So as I detangle with my dimming brush, making sure it's as smooth as possible because we want to get all the strands that need to be cut off. I like to coil it at the end and then take my shears and cut. You see, that was barely anything. Um, yeah, and then it should be like a really pretty little curl at the end. And then I just continue to do that for the rest of my head. And yeah, now when you see me get to the front, I am going to cut off a little bit more than I did in the back. The back is pretty much the most healthy part of my hair. It's the front that needs, you know, a lot of TLC to be done to it um, because that's the most damaged area. But yeah, just continue to do that to all the sections. And that is basically how I make sure I keep my ends healthy. So yeah, very simple, very easy. Please use cutting shears. I'm not a professional, of course, but please use cutting shears. Don't use craft scissors because you're gonna jack your ends up like please don't do that but yeah so basically that's all i do and i will talk to you guys in another video just continue to watch me 
get these juicy twists healthy.